Canadian truckers protesting mandates are labeled as fascists. The police are denying them food and water, and the government calls out the military. Joe Rogan, the popular podcaster, is threatened with deplatforming for asking his guests questions about topics that don't necessarily support the government position. Catholic Bishop Carlo Vignano published another letter critiquing the Pope and his incredibly harsh jab mandates linking him to globalists. Now, all of these are just flashpoints in a struggle to redefine our freedom. So what is driving this? Why now and who's behind it? Some people will say it's the media. Others will say politicians and still others will blame corporations, but this is much bigger than any of those individually. Think about the initial response to the pandemic. Go on, go back in time. Think about March and April of 2020, a worldwide lockdown encompassing stay-at-home orders, curfews, quarantines, and social distancing occurred almost immediately and almost without debate. This wasn't one country or one media channel or one health organization. It was organized. It was coordinated. That coordination showed a power that few probably believed existed, a power that shocked us on this channel at the time and led to a few of our videos being taken down. This is especially true now that John Hopkins Medical Center has come out with a report that the unprecedented lockdowns did nothing to stem the spread of the virus and in reality created great economic and psychological harm, problems that still exist today, two years later. Yet the world undertook those lockdowns without a whimper of debate and in complete lockstep precision. Over a hundred nations locked down over a billion people at the end of March, 2020. Liberal politicians, conservative politicians, corporations, media, social media, etc. Everyone, and I mean everyone, in a position of authority was in lockstep for the intervention that proved ineffective at best and disastrous at worst. So who could have coordinated this? Who has that kind of power? Power over nearly all the governments of the world and all the media. For now, we'll turn them globalists. Others might call them the New World Order. Others might call them central bankers. This channel, this channel calls them what the Book of Revelation calls them, which is Mystery Babylon. So we believe we are watching the development of a one world system that was prophesied in the Book of Revelation. And we'll link what we discuss in this video to that description and specifically what we see happening in regard to the truckers and Joe Rogan, which is only one step in that process. As we've discussed in previous videos, Mystery Babylon, as portrayed in Revelation, has several main features. First, they rule over all the kings of the earth, Revelation 17, 18. They ride the beast, or at least initially, they have dominion even over the beast himself, Revelation 17, 4. They have great wealth, Revelation 18, 12 through 15. Their merchants become the great ones of the world. Revelation 18.23, these merchants gain their power because of something known as pharmakia, or pharmaceutical sorcery. Revelation 18.23, and they are drunk on the blood of the saints. Revelation 17.6, and because of this, when Babylon finally does fall, the saints in heaven wildly celebrate. Revelation 19, 1 through 2. Those are the main features of this worldwide governance system. Let's look at them one at a time, then tie this all back to the truckers and poor Joe Rogan. First, in terms of ruling over the kings of the earth, this must be somewhat in place already in a clandestine, hidden form. How else would the lockstep lockdowns have occurred so rapidly and with such precision back in 2020? Think about it. However, it is not formalized into a system yet. A government over governments of the earth is about to form. In this previous video, we discussed how the United Nations will likely perform this role and that there are published plans that they have put in place for nations to begin to hand over their national sovereignty 
2023. That's just next year. There's a link to that video down in the description if you want to watch it later. And a year ago, in February 2021, we reported how Vladimir Putin complained to the World Economic Forum that Russia would not participate in their global schemes. So there isn't a 100% lockstep agreement just yet, but it's building. Are Russia's current concerns about its western border with Ukraine tied to this? Are they worried about a globalist push into Russia eventually? Well, it's hard to say. The media is on the globalist side, after all, so we're only getting one half of the picture. In terms of Mystery Babylon's merchants becoming the great ones of the earth, think billionaires. These are the merchants, and the Bible tells us they will become the great ones of the earth. Now, this word, great one, in the Greek can be translated as leader or commander. So the billionaires will become the leaders or commanders of the kings. They will be calling the shots, guys like these billionaires. The UN plan calls this group that will be in control thought leaders. Very scary term that implies they'll be leading our very thoughts. And it also includes former government leaders like this guy, a former U.S. president. Imagine those persons that we just showed you forming a committee to run the world. Revelation tells us that these merchants become the great ones by deceiving the nations of the world with something called pharmakia or pharmaceutical sorcery, a satanic use of drugs and pharmaceuticals. Is this what is happening right now? Does it include the potential for man-made pathogens and jabs and who knows what other medical interventions? I would say it likely does include all of those things. Enhanced by satanic forces of darkness. If this is correct, we are living through the beginning of the formation of Mystery Babylon right now. The unprecedented pandemic interventions and the UN plan for 2023 both say to this channel that that is what is coming. Finally, what about Mystery Babylon being drunk on the blood of the saints? Well, it says this world power plans to eliminate a lot of people specifically a lot of Christians. So although almost all Christians believe the beast and the beast empire are the great terminators during the end times, this statement about Mystery Babylon says to us that the Babylon empire is going to be just as lethal, if not more lethal. And this is definitely something we should all be considering. Part of their published plan is to create conservation enclosures which restrict the access of communities to nature in order to protect, as they call it, biodiversity. Some of their plans have depicted as much as seven-eighths of the current land mass of the USA to be made into one of these conservation enclosures, where no human access will be allowed. If this happens, where do all the people that are currently there go? <laughs> I think that may be why Mystery Babylon is drunk on the blood of the saints. We may be eliminated to make room for the conservation enclosure. And a major step toward forming this empire is something called the Great Reset, where all assets and money are confiscated by the globalists and the citizens of the world are made into serfs of the system. The first step in this program is to create digital currency that is controlled by the central banks. The banks you know, like the Federal Reserve, that's a central bank. Digital currency is no longer money that you hold in your hands. So when the central banks want to confiscate it, they simply close your account. And to get to that point where the central banks can confiscate everything, they will need everyone to have a digital ID with biometric markers so they can identify you. This is why health passports are being pushed throughout the world. The pandemic led to the jab. The jab leads to health passports and the passport leads to digital ID. Then they implement digital currency and they confiscate all assets and take control. So anything that compromises this chain of events 
pandemic jab passport digital ID digital currency will be opposed by whatever means necessary by the globalists and this helps place current world events like the truckers and Joe Rogan into this framework of a forming one world organization we answered who's behind it but not why it's happening right now and the answer should be very easy to grasp the globalist plan has run relatively smoothly right up until December that's when the Omicron variant burst onto the scene infecting vast numbers most with less serious disease than we'd seen before and from what we've seen the jabs are not that effective at preventing the transmission of this mutated virus this is a worst case scenario for the globalists if our theory is correct because there will be no need for more jabs if we're right and with no need for jabs there will be no health passports no health passports no digital ID in fact Denmark and Sweden just lifted all pandemic related restrictions all of them the pandemic is falling apart then the Supreme Court of the USA put a hold on the president's jab mandate for most people again this defeats the chain of events needed for the globalist plan with this much pressure on the globalists enter the truckers and Joe Rogan who are challenging the narrative and at the same time challenging the chain of events so if you think the pushback against these folks to silence them has been like over the top and extreme that's why there's a lot at stake for the globalists for instance Canada is calling out the military to disperse the truckers despite it being a peaceful protest and having police arrest anyone who gives them food or water we have never seen actions like this before and it makes no sense logically especially in the era of Omicron unless there's more at stake as we've been explaining you see the military was called in to maintain the chain needed for the globalist plan to form mystery Babylon since we know with 100 percent certainty that mystery Babylon will form however it's clearly listed in Revelation 17 and 18 the issue from our perspective as a channel isn't trying to stop it we're not going to it's within the revealed will of God so if the current chain of events the globalists devise don't work the globalists will try something else and eventually it's going to work my guess is that they will release an even more severe pathogen for which there are no current immune people this allows their plan to unfold just as they planned news sources have been disclosing something called neocove which China discovered or formulated rather than a 1% mortality rate like COVID it's supposed to have a 30% mortality rate we shall see if that comes out or is released anytime soon as we mentioned in the video the UN looks like it's going to play a major role they have shifted their infamous agenda 2030 to next year 2023 click right here to keep watching find out more about the powers of the thought leaders what powers are they going to have who are they considering and what plans they have to move to global control and governance next year in 2023 till then this is Nelson and I'll see you there